this is a little quick one to remind people about something very, something very specific. The program that I'm with, the community that I'm in, IPS, it's linked down below. I see a lot of my colleagues on the platform. They also promote it, which is obviously beautiful, fine, well and good. But here's the thing. Some people are still finding the need to compare themselves with other people who may have been in the system a little bit longer. And this is why it's a bad idea. There's a colleague of mine. We're going to call him Jerry. It's not his real name. But this dude is amazing. When he got on with it, with IPS, he made a sale, I think, the day after he got the course, all right? That was 2021, I believe, sometime in 2021. Yeah, up to that point, he'd been in network marketing and multi-level marketing for about eight years. So it does make sense that he got a sale the very next day, doesn't it? It would be stranger if he didn't. Now, I've been doing this for a year. I, If you've seen any of my stuff, you know that I was on with a course before I found IPS, and that course didn't work out. I found someone inside that first course who turned me on to IPS, and I wouldn't be doing this without him. I had found three, at least three, rotten coaches who didn't do anything that they had promised. They didn't give me the help that they said they could do. So that set me back a little bit. During the time I was getting set back, I created my own course and sold six copies of it. I wrote a cookbook, sold about five copies of it. <laughs> so it's not like I haven't been doing anything. In addition to, you know, grieving my husband. <laughs> it's been a ride to say the least. The point being in all this, if I compared my first year in IPS to Jerry's first year in IPS, I, I would be an idiot. Just straight up. I'd be an idiot to do that. That's why I don't do it. It doesn't make any sense. This is why it's a very good idea to, even though you're in the community and you're here to learn from each other and support one another and this, that, and the other with one another, you are still doing your own thing. Your reason for joining your course, your reason for getting on with a program, your reason for leveling up your skills, your reason for investing in the stuff that you want to, those are your reasons. This is the thing that you're doing. It's your journey. It's your life experience that you're creating. It's your, not anyone else's. That's why the whole idea of comparison makes literally no sense. And I really wish people would stop doing it, but I guess it's, I don't know, human nature. I don't know any about that, <laughs> but I think it's just ingrained in us in Western society to compete with one another when we don't really have to, we're better off collaborating with one another and being a community instead of thinking who can be the best, who can get on a, a leaderboard, who can do, who cares? Literally, who cares? Not I. Everyone's gonna say everything they can to stand out in what is going to feel like a crowded marketplace when it actually isn't. It's, dang it. You, you can't be crowded when you are in a group of one. It's, it's impossible. It doesn't matter that there are 19,000 members in IPS. In fact, that's fantastic. That's 19,000 people who are out trying to help other people improve their situation in whatever way they see fit with starting a business of their own. I mean, that's, that's the freaking winner's circle right there, as far as I'm concerned. My snack bag is empty. I want some more. So I'm going to leave for now. And don't forget, you are you. You are amazing. And you can do it. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You can do it because your reason for doing it is why you're doing it. And if you haven't started today, get started when it's time. That might be tomorrow. A day that's not promised, but you know what? It's fine. I'm not here to coerce, convince or peer pressure anyone into starting something that they're not ready for. Did I start immediately? No. I found my information and then it was two months before I made a decision. And before then, it was eight years of planning because, you know, life was happening.
all in good time. Everything on everyone's timeline. So if you feel like you're late, you're not. You feel like you're behind, you're not. You're cool. And just, my piece of advice, just chill. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, bye.